this week week seven we are into about the second week of October so therefore October is Hispanic Heritage Month and we're going going to be doing Hispanic heritage heritage projects with all grade levels so second grade is going to do Alabrijes Alabrijes which is the spelling of it. Alabrijes or was first start they were first started by Pedro Linares. I hope I said that last name right. And he was an artist from Mexico City. And Alabrijes are brightly colored Mexican folk art. They're sculptures of creatures that can be regular creatures like turtles rabbits just any kind of animal you can think of and or they can be fantasy or mythical creatures like Pepita from the movie from the Disney movie Coco Pepita was <clears throat> Kind of like this dragon looking thing. And he, Pepita was one of the Alabrijes inspired in, in Coco, in the movie Coco. Another one from the movie Coco, if you've seen it, is, is Dante, the little boy in Coco. Sorry about that. Dante from Coco, the little boy, the main little boy in this in this um cartoon, he his dog um the little boy Miguel. Miguel is the little boy, but he had a dog named Dante. And his dog turns into an alabrije as his spirit guide. And there will be, you should have in your classwork for examples of those in, for you to look at in your, under your classwork. Along with um, some films to go along with showing you what Alibri Hayes are. So, alabrijes are small figurines made out of paper mache or they're carved out of wood. They can represent animals, people, objects painted with bright colors and patterns. This reason why we have the patterns all over it. And they're mostly animal mashups which is different types of animals put together. And if not, then they can just be one animal. It, instead of being like mythical and different types of anim animals in one. So, now, we, now that we know what alabrijes are, we're going to draw our alabrije. And you're going to follow along with me and draw this particular alibri hay that I've just come up with. I kind of wanted to do like, sort of kind of like a fox dog. Um, I like foxes and wolves, so it's like fox dog, dog wolf. And um, I like foxes and wolves. And my favorite kind of dog is a pit, so I kind of gave him like a, a pit's pointy tail. So, we're just going to go from there. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to start with just a little, 
U-shaped line like that. And then you're going to bring it on down and kind of curve it out a little. And then start to curve it back in just a little while bringing it down the whole entire time. Slightly curve it out a little for the bend in his knee. And then we're going to kind of bring it out to like a sideways U shape almost. And there we have the bottom of the, of the leg. And we're going to curve it up. Then curve it back around and down. Kind of making a belly shape. And then once you get to the foot down here, you're going to start curving it back around again. And do like another sideways U shape. And then bring it, slightly bringing it up. Curved it. Curve it. Then curve, start curving it back up. And you're going to keep on continuing to curve slightly. Then you're going to curve a little more. Put a little bit more curve to it. And once you start getting up towards this part where we made the neck thicker, you're going to start curving it back up the other way. And then curve it back around and curve it back up to bring that nose up and bring it back down. Then we're going to give him his eyeball. So you're going to do like a C shape and then another small C shape inside of that one. And color that in for his pupil of his eye. And then we're going to add his ears. So, kind of like a curved V shape that sticks out. And we're going to add another little line to the bottom of that. To show that there's two ears. One behind the other. And now this leg's going to be behind the other one. So we're just going to come down with that same shape. Following that same shape, but make it smaller. Because it is behind the other one. You're going to put some curved lines to show that those... That that's the front of the foot. Now we're going to do almost like a U-shape to the sideways again. And then bring that line to show the front of the foot. Now for his tail, you're just going to simply go up to a curved point. And then bring it back down, following along with that other line. Keeping it kind of close. And now, you're just going to go on the inside. And you may want to draw this with pencil first. Um, your, um, your patterns on the inside. You can choose whatever patterns you want to for the inside. That is completely up to you. I just chose random patterns. First, I'm going to just color in his ear. And, oops, I forgot the other part of his ear. Then I'm going to come in with different colors 
and do some shapes. So just some simple like flower petal shapes around the eye. Like I said, you can use any, you can use whatever materials you have, whatever kind of paper you have, and whatever kind of markers, crayons, color, and pencils, etc. Whatever you have for color, if you have those, and just put different patterns in there. I'm going to choose to do uh, this is blue. So I'm just going to put a little, some line patterns around his legs. Now I'm just going to come in with sort of kind of a vine. That I sometimes like to draw. It has some leaves on it. And like I said, you can do whatever kind of pattern you want. I'm going to bring another one out and take it to the other side. some wavy lines that's all it takes and then some petal shapes for leaves or leaf shapes for leaves now for my next set of patterns I think I'll go with this color maybe I'm just gonna bring this to a point, leaving it kind of thick on one side and to a point on the other. Then do the same thing again. Now I'm just going to do some 
kind of bumpy bubble type pattern. Down here, go with that in. You're frozen. You're frozen. Yes, ma'am, and it's stuff. I didn't get that first screen about the diverging branches because it had froze. I got the second one about the convergent. I just didn't get the first one. You're not frozen anymore. You're moving now. I'm not learning. Technology. It's the best thing in the world. I can't see it. It's like blue. Other times it freezes up on us. Now I'm just adding yes. some flowers inside of. I'm only going to put it inside of where I have my vines. Never mind. I got it. So I just started out with a simple orange dot and I'm adding the petals all the way around and using that we pretty much are using repetition throughout the whole entire thing when we're doing these patterns repeat repeating the same shapes and patterns all over him in certain places all over our alibri hay And I'm doing another one right here. And finish this one off. Gonna make it look like we got oh, it kind of ran out right here. And another one. You can see it's just gonna, gonna kind of look like it's running off. Like we're running out of room for it. Because we don't want it to overlap or go out. I don't want it to go outside of. Where I put my vines. That's. A pattern I just want inside my vines. Volcanic. And then another one here. Yeah. Well, 
I want to add a little bit of extra to his tail. And now that I have, I mean, you could even add um, some more patterns up here if you wanted to, but I kind of feel like this is enough for me. I like him the way he is. And I'm going to color the tops of the tips of those feet. Or his toes, in other words. And then come in and finish coloring all of our empty spaces. And I'm pretty much just going to finish the rest of his body with this color. So I'll just be coloring. And I'll go ahead in just a minute and start talking about what we will be doing for the next two weeks. Just a second. Let me get in between all these little places. Okay, so this is week seven, and week seven, as I said at the beginning of our lesson, that um, week seven, this is Hispanic Heritage Art Week, because this is Hispanic Heritage Month, and I know we were doing a nine, we were supposed to be doing a nine-week segment on animals and insects, but we had to kind of put a stop to that and you guys got lucky and lucked out and we could at least do some kind of mythical animal creature type thing <coughs> to keep up with that theme but also have it um, Hispanic heritage at the same time and um, because after Hispanic Heritage Week, we are going to, for the next two weeks, to finish up our nine weeks, we are going to start our Christmas card competition. And we'll be working on that for two weeks because we want you to do the best you possibly can because, you know, we usually have two winners or more for this school. And I don't know how that's going to work out virtually with um, this, everything being virtual this time of the year. Because I know it's a little early for Christmas cards. And it's not quite cold enough outside to be thinking about Christmas cards. But 
this is the same time of year we have to do it every year and so just after this week week seven eight and nine just a heads up we'll be um working on christmas cards so i hope you have enjoyed the elephant from last week and this week's week seven el Brihe creature and we'll spend the last two weeks of our first nine weeks on christmas cards and see you next week